Bueno, me llamo Nicolás. Nicolás. Sí. Yo, Pedro. Hola, Pedro. Pedro. ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal? Ya muy bien, muy bien. Eh, bien. 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 Barbed wires. First noticeable thing out of the airport in Guatemala City. Indeed, it wasn't the last time I was going to see these along the trip. Mostly seen around commercial businesses and warehouses, those barbed wires were also present around parks and private housing. Different techniques can be used to prevent people climbing up the wall. Using broken glasses like this is a low investment technique. Guatemala has one of the highest rates of violent crime in Latin America. Most incidents are drug and gang related. It is then not so surprising that we've seen that many armed security guards hanging around public places. Maybe that could be due to the large gap between poor and rich population in Guatemala, like Angel told us. Tinted car windows for security are common for most automobiles driving around Guatemala. Esta seguridad? So maybe like, sí. Sí. Like... I was here in the car talking with Ben Ramin toward Fedecovera Cardamom Co. He explained me that tinted car windows is a safety tool in Guatemala, especially for women driving to not, not be dragged down by any dangerous persons. That goes along with what we have learned and seen about Guatemala. First, that there's political tension. Second, that there's road safety issues. And third, that public transport is also an issue. So that is why tinted windows in car is then another important safety tool that Guatemalan people use. Guatemalan cars have windows to the shade they wanted to. And for any windows they want, even the windshield of the car. Another reason for that is to prevent people seeing what's inside the cars and reduce the number of car breaks in. Finally, by being surrounded by people that made me feel safer, I really enjoy being in Guatemala because I love basically almost everything about this country. <laughs>